Welcome back once again. In this part, we will update our XMS data to server. So, and in our previous tutorial, we set our layout and our text. So, for if we want to update our data, then we need to do this. So, button inside this button update method, we need to add our variable name where we store our data. So, this type is equal to our edit type, that is our edit input field, and dot get text dot to string dot trim. And not is equal to edit not dot get text dot to string dot trim and for amount is going to be edit amount dot get text dot to string dot trim. But we can see a error, and the reason is that this amount is integer, so we need to first we need to convert it as a string. So create a string variable. We can call it st amount is equal to string dot value of and this amount. And now we can set this amount is equal to edit amount dot get text dot to string dot trim. Now I think all done perfectly. And after that, now we need to set this data to our database. So first we need to create a new data and again we need to convert this one to integer. We can call it integer int amount is equal to integer dot int is going to be st amount and create a new string variable string m dead is equal to dead dot dead format dot get dead instance dot format and is going to be new dead cause we need to we need to insert our update date when we will update this data then we want to show this update date now we need to create an object of our model class so data data is equal to new data and we need to add our integer amount so int amount our type our node and our post key and our date and now we can set this data so now we need to add our database name that is our m expense database so m expense database dot child and in here we need to add child post key dot set value is going to be this data so first inside uh, we need to add our database name dot child is post key we need to add same post key and inside this same post key we want to update and dot set value dot data I think we added all this functionality clearly and if we don't did any mistake then I think it will be work perfectly and we need to dismiss our dialog so dialog dot dismiss and for delete our node our item so we can call it mxmas database dot child that is our post key and dot remove value and this way our data will remove and now run this application and this is our income fragment and this is our expense fragment so now if you want to update this data we can add 60,000 and change this type and call it salary just add or we can add shopping and add a note I did some shopping I did or we can call it I did shopping now if you click this update button and here we go we can see our update date our title our type our description and our amount and our total submission and for this note we can change and we can see the update value and if we 
if we update this value at more data and we can see our total summation our data and all these required fields so it's and if we delete this button and we can see our data is deleted